From a distance, a brief history of distance learning. Knowledge, according to the proverb, is power, and in this electronic age, more and more of our information is gained not in the classroom, but via media such as the internet, CD-ROM, and cable TV, all of which are playing a key part in the distance learning revolution. Here are three figures in this key educational change, which is transforming our lives in the twenty-first century. Sir Isaac Pitman. Those who think that distance learning is a relatively new idea might be surprised to learn that English educator Sir Isaac Pitman had the same idea. Only then they were called correspondence courses. More than a hundred and fifty years ago. Taking advantage of the development of a reliable postal system in 1840, Pitman began teaching shorthand by mail to thousands of students who did not have time to attend school. Lessons consisted of copying short passages of the Bible in shorthand and posting them to Mr. Pitman to be corrected. His brother Ben Pitman. Introduced the idea to the United States, and the Pitman shorthand system, which has been adapted to fifteen other languages, is still one of the most widely used shorthand systems in the world. The Open University. When it was established in 1969, the Open University offered courses via mail. With the backup of regular TV and radio programs shown outside normal broadcast times, each student was assigned a tutor who discussed the coursework over the phone and in group sessions in the evenings or at weekends. Thirty years on, the Open University has expanded to include the internet, video conferencing, satellite broadcast, and email. There are no entry qualifications or admission interviews, and anyone over the age of eighteen can follow one of their courses. It is now Britain's largest single teaching institution, with more than two hundred thousand people studying its courses every year, with another sixteen thousand in other countries around the world. John Hendricks and the Discovery Channel. After a successful career in university education, John S. Hendricks entered the TV business and launched the Discovery Channel, the first cable TV channel exclusively devoted to documentaries and nature programs, in June 1985. Today, the company's programs reach over 150 million subscribers in more than a hundred countries. In an age where competition for TV audiences has never been tougher. The Discovery Channel's high-quality educational approach continues to defy those who believe that TV is only about mindless entertainment. The BBC program Walking with Dinosaurs became the most-watched documentary in TV history when it was shown on the Discovery Channel in 2000.